Hi Taurus, welcome to your March 2020 reading. Thanks for joining me. My name is Michelle. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. This is your main reading of the month. So let's get started. I'm going to pull some oracles firstly. So let's see what we have for Taurus for the month of March. Well, okay, we'll take that one. We have Hecate. We'll talk about these in a moment. I'm going to pull one from the Crystal Mandala for Taurus for March 2020. Spiritual message for Taurus for March 2020. I'm going to take this one. Authentic voice. I love that one for you, Taurus. And let's get the overall energy of the month. This is a new oracle the star seed oracle so let's see what is the overall focus for Taurus for March it's a little bit sticky let's loosen those up a bit for March 2020 please for let's do that one more shuffle here for Taurus March 2020 here we go Let's see what we have. We have We the Hathers, Deep Love, Mother's Milk, Birth as a Portal. Okay, interesting. So let's talk about these. Okay, Taurus, so let's take a look. We've got Hecate, Triple Goddess, Mother, Maiden and Crone. You're standing at a crossroads. You're at a turning point. And it seems like you have to make a, a, a conscious decision to make a choice. Now, of course, you're weighing the options, and I get it. There's something that is waiting to be birthed within you. Could be a, a project, perhaps a creative project, something that you're wanting to, to birth, something that you've nurtured for a long time. It may have been very much a, a, a waiting period while, it, while you were ready, becoming ready to, uh, to put this out into the world. The energy around you overall is, is the uh, deep love. It's mother's milk. It's birth as a portal. So you're being nurtured by the universe during this transition time, but you're also nurturing this project. Now from the Crystal Mandala, we have the authentic voice card. So it's about finding your authentic voice, speaking with your authentic voice, writing with your authentic voice, singing with your authentic voice, whatever that means to you. It'll be different for all of you Taurians. I feel like there is a lot to be expressed. You have a lot to say. You may have been keeping this quiet for a while, but I feel that you're going to speak up about it this month. There's a feeling here, if you've had fear of speaking up, perhaps you've felt a fear of being judged or ridiculed, if you've been shamed in the past by any kind of uh, people who are and naysayers, people who say, oh no, you can't do that. If you've had your feelings, dreams or visions scoffed at, dismissed by another, then this oracle brings you a particular message. And that is that uh, no matter who is around you, your voice of the soul can never be silenced. It never dies. Now, you may have turned away from it in the past out of fear. Perhaps you've wanted to save uh, pain for yourself or for others. But in time, I, I do feel, and, and I feel the time is now, where you no longer fear that authentic voice and uh, you're wanting to bring it out into the world in a very creative way. And I feel that you're, you're speaking up here about what it is that you, you want to do. A dream, a goal, a project, something like that, Taurus. Let's see. At the bottom of the deck, we have the six of coins for you. So, you know, I do feel that there is a, an energy around you of people who will be on board. I do feel that there are certain people who will be happy for you but i also get an essence that there will be some people mainly because uh, they don't want to see you getting ahead of them that will not be so happy with your choice this month but i feel like you have to go towards the people that are going to support you in your endeavor so let's do some more shuffling here taurus 
What do we have for Taurus, please, for the month of March 2020? Calling on my angels, my ancestors, earth, air, fire, water, and spirit. Taurus, what do we have for Taurus for March? So we'll pull some cards and we'll see what we have going on for this month. We have the Seven of Swords. Okay. The King of Cups. Very nice. The Four of Pentacles. Okay. We have the Hangman in reverse. We also have the Four of Wands in reverse in the center. Judgment in reverse. In the Three of Coins in reverse. Nine of Cups in reverse. And we also have the Page of Coins in the reverse. Okay, so this is definitely the turning point. I feel that you have not taken action on this goal, this dream, this endeavor in the past. But that's about to change. I see you formulating a plan. I see you working hard behind the scenes to formulate a plan here to move ahead with this dream, this goal. It's something that you feel this deep emotional connection to. Now, I can't help but think that you've put this on the back burner, Taurus, for the sake of life, family, another job, all of those things that, that kind of well, they just kind of happen, don't they? Uh, I mean, best laid plans, isn't it? So you may have had this dream for a while, but then things happened. You got taken off course. It's not that you weren't happy to do that. I mean, you know, I see you as a happy family person here. Uh, you may have already raised a family. And there's an energy around you here of, uh, well, I see it as, it's not exactly escape, but I see it as asserting your individuality, who you are away from being mum or dad or part of a family. It's your own, uh, it, it's yourself, it's your sense of self, it's you, it's your authentic voice. And I see you formulating this strategy, this plan to, I feel, go and get what you, what you want. The Four of Coins. We've got quite a few coins cards here. So, you know, I see this two ways. I feel like that there's been a situation which has given you great support, stability and strength. I feel like you've had a, a job that you've been in for probably a, a, a little while here, Taurus. It's giving you the, the money. But I do feel that for you there's something that you're wanting to do more than this the focusing here that's on a on a well a well paid job. I do feel that you have felt a lack of recognition, not only in the workforce, but I feel also at home, which is a, a quite sad, Taurus. I feel like there's some unhappiness in the home because you have felt like you've your dreams have gone unrealized while you've supported others i get you a very supportive very kind very generous person taurus and you've supported other people in the family and and now i i get the sense that you're looking back at that thinking to yourself well i've placed my my hopes my my dreams on hold yeah you know the hangman here He's in the reverse, but I've also got the Nine of Cups in the reverse. So I do get this sense of you haven't had fun for a while. You want to hang, you, you want to kind of let loose a little bit. It, it's kind of like, um, well, it's freedom. Yes, it, it's freedom. But it's more than that. It's kind of living how you want to live. It's a freer kind of approach to, to living. That's what I'm picking up here. For a long time you have felt that 
things were out of your control, that you just had to continue down the same path that you've been going on for a while. But I feel that recently you've, something's happened. I feel like something's happened here in which it has made you realize that you have to make some changes in your life. And it involves you stepping up and becoming more assertive and not being afraid to make the tough choices, not being afraid perhaps to ruffle some feathers in the process, Taurus. Yeah, I feel that you, you have this calling, you have something that you feel called towards. I get it as creative, Taurus, whatever that means to you. Something that you want to bring forth into the world. It comes from within you, it's your authentic voice. So it's either the written word, or it, it could be uh, something that is, uh, uh, it could be artistic. But it, it speaks, it speaks in some way to others, is what I'm getting. And you are, uh, because this is your, your true soul work here, that's why the universe is supporting you. It calls, anytime we make a transition and, and we have to, uh, to step forth, and do something radically different than we've done in the past. It's scary. It's frightening because we don't know how it's going to work out. But with the universe at your back here, Taurus, I don't think that you have really anything to fear. All I do feel is you holding or feeling like you've been held back. But, but I think now the only thing holding you back truly is you. Maybe it was family in the past, but I actually don't think that that's so much a problem these days. I feel that it's more you, Taurus, believing that, well, I've gone this long down this pathway, I just have to keep going at this, and I can't, I can't go back now. I can't do a U-turn and, and do this other thing that I've wanted to do. But you can. You can. That's what it's telling me. And uh, in this home situation here and at work, you just don't feel like you're, uh, that this is the right fit for you anymore, that uh, it's the best use of your skills, your talents, your abilities. Yeah, I feel that, that, that it seems to be all about money at the moment with, with the job, with the home situation. And uh, for you, you, you're wanting to get the emotional connection back in your life, both with a creative energy doing what you love, but also I feel possibly romance as well. But we'll have to see where that goes. Let's get some clarifiers. I've got justice at the bottom of the deck. So it's your time, Taurus. It's your time to make a decision. Of course, you want to be fair about it. You want to take into account other people's uh, needs as well before you go racing off. Taurus, but at the same time, I get you ruffling some feathers here, but uh, it, it's to follow your dream. It's to follow your uh, follow your passion. I do feel that you're going to be sad about leaving behind what you have uh, been involved with for a long time, but tinged with that it is some excitement as well. So let's see. I'm going to look at. Uh, the Seven of Swords. Let's clarify the Seven of Swords for Taurus. We have the Ten of Pentacles. Clarify the Seven of Swords for Taurus, please. Page of Swords in reverse. Please clarify. Okay, and the Six of Swords, all right. I'm gonna be pulling out the clarifiers here, guys. We'll do the King of Cups next. I'll be talking about these in depth in the extended reading, so if this is resonating, uh, please do join me for that. But uh, we'll continue on here and pull out all of the cards and see what, we'll, what we will be talking about. We've got the King of Swords, the Five of Cups in Reverse, and the Knight of Wands in Reverse. The Four of Pentacles. Let's see what's, uh, what's up with that Four of Pentacles. Yeah, you know, the thing is, the more we have... The more we accumulate, the harder it is for us to to free ourselves, to uh, to go off and do something different because they kind of weigh us down. The more we accumulate. Let's get one more. Four of Pentacles. 
and the two of cups in reverse okay let's have a look at the hangman in reverse for Taurus what's this about nine of cups in reverse here that dream has been on hold for a long time got the queen of cups in reverse and the six of wands right in the center there's four of wands in reverse let's see that ten of cups and the six of pentacles and the ace of cups in reverse judgment let's take a look at that judgment five of wands in reverse the ace of wands and the three of cups in reverse let's take a look at the three of coins seven of swords in reverse okay ace of swords and we have the eight of cups we'll take that one what about this nine of cups in reverse for taurus four of pentacles in reverse freeing yourself up here freeing yourself up from the more well you know it, it's really kind of leaving behind your your uh, your home base or what has kept you grounded for a long time so it's a scary prospect but you, you are being supported around the the universe the page of coins in reverse what's this about three of swords queen of wands and the eight of wands let's take a look at that hecate Clarify Hecate, two of pentacles in reverse. The authentic voice, page of wands in reverse. One more for the authentic voice, okay. Emperor. And the mother's milk, birth as a portal, deep love, six of cups. One more for that. And the empress okay beautiful energy so taurus i'm getting an essence here you are standing at this crossroads it's a turning point for you you've been weighing up the options you've been stuck in this place of should i shouldn't i and you've probably been speaking to a number of people all of which has confused you but although no choice is a choice it would be the wrong choice for you I feel like February into March is going to be this lead up time, but then by the end of March, I feel like you'll be ready to take this action, to make that choice, to step forth with your authentic voice. You know, I feel this is you, the page of wands I feel was you when you were younger. And for whatever reason, you weren't able to follow this goal, this dream in the past. It was a false start or it, it didn't get going but now you're older and wiser with the emperor so i feel that to, now you're older you can actually do this well before you may not have been ready for some reason i get gestation period that uh, something wasn't ready to be birthed when you were younger but now that uh, now that you're older here it seems like it's the right time and the reason why i say that is because we have this deep love here mother's milk birth as a portal with empress and the six of cups so it speaks to me of uh, gestation if you consider a mother a woman and they're taking nine months for uh, for the birth process to uh, to happen so there's this feeling here of something that needed to, needed waiting time it needed to percolate for a while it needed to grow you needed to grow and it seems to be that uh, now the universe is saying to you it's time to it's time to pick this fruit it, it, it's ready it's ripened uh, it's time to give birth it, it, it's it's time so this dream that you've had since you were younger needed this time but your time is now so it's brilliant Taurus I love it so let's see where this goes in part two Taurus we'll see you there it'll be about another 30 or so minute reading clarifying everything here we're going in depth talking about some uh, 
some oracles as well for guidance so please do join me if this is resonating if you'd like a personal reading you can email me gypsyinsights at gmail.com Taurus there is a you standing at a precipice right now you're waiting to jump off that metaphorical cliff here and uh, and it's scary but you've been placed something on hold for a long time I feel like you have wanted to do more with your life I feel like you're getting to the stage now of needing to make the choice the universe is behind you it's supporting you and uh, and it's going to usher in a, a time of, of transition for you and uh, while it's scary it's also very exciting so we'll see where this goes in the extended so please do join me there again the link is below in the descriptions box if you're enjoying these readings please don't forget to press that like button uh, below that little thumbs up and uh, I'd greatly appreciate that and let me know in the comments I haven't heard from people for a while so please do let me know how you're enjoying these uh, new style readings for the monthlies wishing you the best with this Taurus I'll see you soon and bye for now